Thank you all for tuning back in. Hope everybody had a great holiday weekend. It's your boy, PBK9s, giving you that dog news the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. Y'all hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. We buy that 5,000 real subscribers. You know, we buy that 5,000 real subscribers. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Hit that like button before you get up out of here if you like the video. And don't forget to drop them comments. And everybody getting ready for the new year, 2023. Let's get into that dog news. First thing I want to say, man, is thanks to Mr. Edward Volatin III for the cash out. Appreciate that, my brother. I appreciate that, my brother. You know, PBK9, you know, give that dog news the way I always do. So let's go ahead and get that thing rolling. All right, first thing to my bulldoggers, my ladies and my men. You know, we all can't forget this is YouTube. You know what I'm saying? This is YouTube where a majority of the stuff we hear or see ain't real. You know, so don't forget when I do this new stuff, I'm in my character. Like I said, when I first started doing these videos, Geraldo Hirsch, you know, that ain't my real name. Being a newsman, you know, I, I didn't get deep into his life or none of that or what he got going on. I'm just saying him as a news journalist, you know, because coming up as a youngster, that's all I used to see was Geraldo and, you know, on the news or whatever. And, you know, so I used that, Geraldo, and just threw it to the, you know, my name, Hirsch, and, you know, making fun of the news, uh, the news anchor type thing, you know, so... I'm in my character mode. Don't don't take everything serious on uh, certain manners. You know what I'm saying? Because this dog game is real, and what I'm about to tell you now, you know, is real. Like we 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 in a new era of dog man. This dog man right here is gonna have to be the, the dog man that make the change. These dog this era right here, y'all gotta help make the change to switch this thing back over before it get too late, man. Before it get too late. We're going to need a younger generation to understand, you know what I'm saying? Understand the importance and uh, uh, the be aware of the breed and, and where the breed is headed at. Because if you don't, you know, if you 19, by the time you get grandkids and great grandkids, they ain't going to know what a real pit bull was or is. They just going to hear the stories and read the books and this and that. It'll be uh, extinct like the dodo bird, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it, it's sad to say, and we, we, we may look at it like, you know, it'll never happen. And maybe not even in our lifetime. But for the generations ahead of us, I mean, behind us that's coming, you know, we don't want this to be an extinct thing. Um, Something they're just showing pictures of and just wondering and, and like, oh, man, they, they had a dog back then that locked. And, you know, they'll be thinking they got the locked jaws and all that and making myths up and talking about the pit bulls this way. But we need that younger. This is going to be the generation, man. Just like I said on the last video, it's too many outlets, too many ways that y'all can help benefit the breed. You know what I'm saying? And put folks and, and have folks aware of certain things, okay? Uh, that takes me to the point where I'm telling you about the things we kill for, them papers, the, the, them, them beautiful papers. The same thing that they using to eradicate the breed with, you know. I give you a quick example. Dog man, dog. One of the dog shows that I talked about in the past, a dog man got busted, you know, and they took his dog. Okay. Now, once they took his dogs for whatever he did, you know, this ain't to talk about whether he was on the legal side or the illegal side. This just to show you how the trail goes. You know what I'm saying? They bust him for his dogs, okay? Now, they get paperwork from his house, okay? Now, you got registration papers, you know, because everybody give you single registrations or the certificates or whatever. Registration papers that these folk pick up and look at and get names off of. Now, you don't have no, no, no kind of nothing about what these guys are doing with the dogs that you sold them. Let me make it real easy for you. You know, break it down. I'll use myself for example. Harold or Hurst sell you a dog. All right. I got my dogs on. America's top dog. I got my dogs on. In this show, that show, this show, and that show. I sell you a dog. You go out there and do something illegal with it. 
You a grown man, I can't stop you. Your mama can't stop you. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but one thing can stop you, and that's the law. Okay? You go out there and do something illegal with this dog. I'm legal. I'm legal from the top to the bottom, from the rooter to the tutor. But you go out there and do something illegal, and then my papers showing my name on it with my dogs that I sold you, you know, and then they come back and take my dogs. For me, and I don't even know what you got going on in life, period. They show up to my house to take my dogs. You know, and that's how the system is going. That's why I said before, you know, is it the dog that matters or is it the paper that matters? You know, because them boys back in the days used to write that shit out on a piece of paper. Get your handwritten note with your papers on it. You know what I'm saying? Or, or whatever, you know. And at the end of the day, the handwritten note can be written by you. Ain't no telling who wrote that handwritten note. You know, if, if, if somebody wanted to pick it up and try to do a trace on it, you know, you can't uh, tie that to me. You know, handwritten um, pedigree. You know, so them old school players, they did things certain ways, and that's why they last certain ways. You know what I'm saying? But as times get on, get modern, and, you know, laws, of course, change, and things change, you know, like I said before, if you're doing something illegal, you know, punishment it is what it is. But if you're not, the folk that doing stuff illegal shouldn't trickle down to the folk that doing legal stuff just because of a sale. Like when I'm up here on this YouTube in my character mode, Geraldo Hirsch, like I give you historical stories. I talk about this, I talk about that, this and that. But once I close this YouTube down, none of that is going on with me in real life. You know, I'm on a whole nother, you know, a whole nother time zone. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going down like that. And if you try to talk to me like that in real life, you're not going to get that same conversation from me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not rolling like that. You know, I know what it takes to survive. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm on YouTube. I got to do what I got to do. I got to give folk what they want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and good content. And at the end of the day, Never steal you wrong to where you making the wrong decisions. You know what I'm saying? Because making the wrong decisions, you know, we all know leading the wrong places. And like I said before, man, everybody who watched my channel, everybody who watched the Next Man Dog channel, who don't even like my channel, we all supposed to be here. You know what I'm saying? And, and nobody ain't supposed to be uh, talking about their dogs from the, from the inside. You know what I'm saying? We all supposed to be out here enjoying our dogs. Like I said before, having fun with them. And all that type of stuff. All right. On another note, you know. So first I use myself as an example. But let me give you the real deal. You remember when I told you the dude lost the dogs in Paulding County, Georgia. Okay. When he when he was in this situation, like I say, there was a, 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 a single dog registry to one of his dogs that he purchased from somebody. And from that, the police went back to... Uh, Mr. Randall House confiscated his dogs. He had nothing. To, he had nothing to do with none of that. What they had going on, you know, made them sign a, a, a paper that they weren't gonna do anything illegal with the dogs and all that, you know. So after after you sign that paper, I mean, what can I physically do? Like as a man, as a woman, as anybody, what can you physically do? to stop a person from going out there and doing anything with the dog. You can't do it. It's no way possible. There's no way possible. I can, like, like, it's getting to the point where it's like they saying, we got to be God or something. Only God can know what that person going to do. You know what I'm saying? Only thing we can do is do as humans. Think we going to sell a good person a dog and, and they do the right things with it. Like, you can't, it's no, I'm not, and they got proof that you know that, you know what I'm saying, it's different now. We're talking a whole different subject. If they got proof that you know that that person going to do that, you know what I'm saying? It's different then, but we're talking, I don't know what he going to do, you know? You sign this paper, brother, you you are not to do anything illegal with this dog, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you do anything illegal with it, you know you will be prosecuted by the law. It don't got nothing to do with me. I'm selling you this on good terms. 
So, like, what can I do physically possible, humanly possible, that can save the day, prevent me from getting in trouble from the next man in trouble? You know, what? It's nothing you can do, man. It's nothing you can do. After they took the dogs in Paulding County, now check these dogs right here out. This is the, the yard they went to, Mr. Randall Yard, you know, and just took his dogs off of having a single dog registry at the dog house that got busted. You know what I'm saying? Having a dog registry that linked back to your name and your address and all that registration paper at that person's house that got in trouble about the dogs. So from that, they go back to his house. And now these are the dogs they confiscated from him. And picture after picture, the dogs look, you know, in, in pretty good shape to me. Picture after picture. See, it's not about fighting then. It's about almost like a, a conspiracy type thing or togetherness type thing when it ain't no togetherness in this dog game. They're trying to make it togetherness. But they need to come in my where I'm sitting at and looking at the game. There ain't no togetherness in this. Everybody out for themselves in this dog game. You know? So the together the the togetherness they're trying to make it seem like doesn't exist. You know? Like I said, uh every man, every dog can do what that man trained him or teach him to do. You know? And we're talking about American pit bull terriers right about now. Uh, the real American pit bull terriers right about now. You know, I love all my breeds. You know, I have multiple breeds on my yard. But right now we're talking about the American pit bull terrier. You know, the only dog that can't have a scratch on it. Out of all the breeds of dogs that can just get scratches and then, oh, he just got a scratch on him. He got um, spots around his knees because of how he lay on the ground or how he lay when he in the house, how he always laying in, in, on his knees or this certain ways. He got uh, little ball spots around his knees and elbows, you know. Uh, 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 my brothers and sisters, when it comes to them pit bulls, boy, you better keep them squeaky, pretty, shiny, everything, you know what I'm saying, because you will get judged. You will get judged for it, you know what I'm saying. It's like, I wish the breed could talk, you know, then they'll tell you how bad they get mislabeled and misjudged and uh, stereotyped and all kind of stuff like that, you know, but it is what it is. Animals can't speak for themselves, so they need real good dog men out here from the east to the west to the north to the south to speak up for them, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, uh, we just can't sit back and... Be get bullied all the time. You know what I'm saying? Get bullied all the time. Like I said before, if a man sell drugs and get caught up, you know, that don't mean he in the damn dog fighting circuit. Like, wh who putting all this stuff together? Who putting it together? Because I tell you, 24 hours a day when I'm on my channel and, and when I'm talking that historical news, I tell you 24 cell that because <laughs> you a big old dog boy, Use a flea when you come in the dog game. That none of that transfers. None of that transfers. Dog men are dog men. Dope boys are dope boys. You know what I'm saying? None of that transfers. Only thing, okay, money. They try to say, I guess you buy this and buy that, buy this and buy that. So you know I understand where all that come from. You know what I'm saying? But uh, far as linking what this man doing compared to what this man doing, and try to make them together because of a paper, because of a pedigree. No, it don't go like that, man. Everybody got family trees. Everybody got family trees. And all our family trees go back to different ancestors. We can't link our ancestors with what they did with what the man doing in 2022. You know, we can't do it. Every man be judged for himself. You know, if I sell you a dog, you go out there and fuck up, that's you. That don't go back on me. You know what I'm saying? There's too many personalities in this world, too many different brains think well ways of thinking in this world to say all oh, that can go back on one person no man uh-uh that ain't right man and at the end of the day we might not win today we might not win tomorrow but it's gonna be some dog men that's gonna stand up you know and 
win them court cases. We're gonna, 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 it's going to be Supreme Court cases. It's going to be all kind of stuff, but the dog man is going to be victorious at the end of the day. And yeah, I do say if a pit bull is human aggressive, you know, if you want to train your dog to be protection dog, that's different. But that's not a human aggressive dog. That's a dog that know how to turn it up from zero to 100 at any given time. He still, he still or she still should be very, very friendly dog and know when danger is around. You know, if your dog can't distinguish when danger is around to know this is a good person and a bad person, then you don't need that kind of dog. You know, so any dog that's naturally human aggressive, pit bull, yeah, I agree, that dog shouldn't be, that dog shouldn't be here. Put him down, put him somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Get rid of the human aggressive pit bulls. But don't try to eradicate the the, 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 the line of dogs because of what one man do. You know, because Everybody different. Like I said, end of the day, if we was all made to be the same, like what would this world be if we was all the same? That's why my brother putting out this Pitbull magazine to put positive in the light, you know, outside of the American uh, ADBA Gazette, which is nice magazine as well. You know, the, uh, the, the American Pitbull, you know, Gazette that you get with the ADBA is a great magazine. You know, get you a bunch of information out of it, show you pictures and, you know, nice dogs, and you know, across the world. This brother here putting out this magazine. Going to be a great pit bull magazine. Going to give you great positive stories, positive knowledge, ways to uh, handle these dogs, ways to take care of these dogs, how to train these dogs, different dog trainers we're going to be talking to, getting different advice from different people, different dog men will be, you know, things that will be, covered in the book and and it's like i said it's gonna be bringing a positive light to the dogs and you can have a pit bull magazine in your house without worrying about it linking back to some bull junk or trying to say you you're doing this and you're doing that man we got history books in our house we got encyclopedia books in our house we got all kind of books in our house that go back to the history of this country that ain't it's way worse than these pit bulls but we look over all that and we worry about stuff that don't matter. Like I say, it's, it's zero below, below zero out here. And we got people out here homeless. And they ain't worrying about them. But they worry about a dog. You know what I'm saying? They worry about a dog. But they ain't worrying about these, these, these homeless people out here. You know? But at the end of the day. At the end of the day. They just gave. I might get flagged for this. Just gave Ukraine billions and billions of dollars. For what? And all these people out here post starving. For what? And everything going up at prices. Like, man, are you kidding me? But, you know, I can't get too political on my video because they you know how that, they, they really don't play when it comes to the U.S. and U.S. and other country talk and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, man, how we give all these folk from these other countries billions and billions of dollars in times like this. If we're going to give it to them, we can give it to them because we're printing up the money. But do something with another. It's, it's, it should be a thing. If we give, you should match that and give it to the poor people and the homeless people out here. That's the case. If you're going to give out $2 billion to Ukraine, give out $2 billion to the homeless and the, and, the, and the middle class and the poor and, and, and all that. And then work your way up to the people who already got it in that, in that direction so everybody can have it. You know? But it is what it is. That's just the way the country built. That's just the way it is. I love it. I love our country. I you know I wouldn't move and, and go nowhere else, you know. But, uh, you know, everybody got their faults. Like I say, ain't nobody without their faults, and that's including this land. You know what I'm saying? And, and to my young bulldogs, you know, I always got to give that survival one-on-one at least one time and, and every so often, you know what I'm saying? All right. Survival one-on-one, my young bulldogs. Remember this. It ain't where you're from. It's where you're at. You know, and that's the universal law of survival. You know what I'm saying? It don't make no difference we, what you doing. It ain't where you from. It's where you at. You know what I'm saying? Because listen here. One thing that'll get you shipped out of somewhere fast, one way that'll get you left somewhere fast is being somewhere. I'm in California. And I'm screaming out. I'm from South Carolina. You better act like you know. I'm from South Carolina. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I get left in California. Universal law of survival. It ain't where you from. It's where you at. Down south. 
screaming out, you from up north, get you left down south. Up north, screaming out, oh, I'm from South Carolina, and I'm in the heart of, I'm in the heart of um, Brooklyn, I'm in the heart of South Jamaica, Queens. I'm from South Carolina. Get you left in South Jamaica, Queens. Get you left in Brooklyn. It ain't where you from, it's where you at. Don't forget that, Law of Survival, 101. But I do want to say, shout out to all my folk up north. You know, like I always say, shout out to my Brooklyn people, my people of Flatbush, um, uh, uh, Crown Heights, Red Hook, Greenpoint, East New York, Fort Greene, uh, Brownsville, uh, BS, Cobo Hill, Canarsie. You know, I had a shorty, um, we used to be back and forth from Canarsie and, and, and she was from Flatbush, Foster and Farragut. There was a projects in that area. You know, I, I did, like I say, I rock with my Brooklyn folk. And, and guess what? When we, I moved to the South Carolina, you know what I'm saying? Moved to the South Carolina and, and asked her what, right now today, she only had, the first dog that she had in her house when she moved to South Carolina was a grandson, a grand champion yellow that I had. We raised it from a puppy. You know, I, she didn't know nothing about no dogs and none of that, you know, but she liked it, the puppy. So I had kept it in the house. Grandson of Grand Champion Yellow on top, um, Grand Champion Yellow on bottom. It was a pure yellow dog or whatever. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. I rock with everybody, man. I rock with everybody. And I and I try to get the, get the message out to everybody. We going to get this message out from one part of the world to the other side of the world, man. Because everybody lost, like I said before, when I when I was talking about the um different countries having stricter laws than America on the pit bull, you got places with even more stricter laws than we have. And they might be doing corrupt stuff to the folk out there in them countries, in Greenland and New Zealand and Africa and Europe. They might be doing illegal stuff that some of them dog men hear the videos and hear what we talking about, uh, you know, feel the same way. So it ain't really just a U.S. thing. It's about treating people right and doing things the right way and not damn, uh, like I say, they sell baking soda in the stores, but we can't link baking soda up to everybody, the drugs, can we? And we know uh, baking soda, number one seller for baking soda, if they want to stop if they want to stop the crack, all they got to do is take baking soda off the damn shelf. They don't want to stop crack. All the fighting drugs, no none of that. All that is irrelevant. You want to stop crack cocaine, take baking soda off the shelf. Never sell it again. Whatever baking soda people got, they'll have to use that until they run out. Then you go against the drug game. They ain't want the drug game to stop, you know? And you can't link, oh, because I go buy some baking soda, you can't say, I'm a drug dealer. I'm going to put baking soda out in the fire. I'm going to cook with the baking soda. I'm going to do this, you know? But you can't. The people who selling the baking soda, they not getting in trouble because I'm going out here and cooking some drugs with it. I'm going here to cook me four or five bricks of bake with baking soda. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I need the soda to use it. Seven grams for every zip. You know, so uh, I need a baking soda to do it. They can't lock them people who selling that baking soda up. So how can they lock this dog man up for selling you a dog because he don't know what you going out there to do with it? But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know, uh, like I say, uh, it's going to take more than one dog, man. You know, it's going to take dog, man, understanding what it is across the board. And like I say, walk with your chest out, man. If you're doing something wrong, you're doing something wrong. You know, it is what it is. But if you ain't, you know, don't 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 be shadowed by the person who is doing something. You know what I'm saying? Don't shadow yourself, you know. I ain't gonna keep my bulldoggers, my men, and my ladies here too long. You know what I'm saying? And my young fellas are here too long. I gotta stop calling y'all boys and all that, cause you know it's a figure of speech when I'm saying it. But you know I know how it is. Y'all ain't no boys. Y'all young fellas, young men out there. You know what I'm saying? Coming up out there. But uh, y'all stay safe out there. Y'all hit that channel, hit that subscribe button if you ain't subscribed yet. You know uh, hit that like button before you get up out of here. Hit them comments up. Your boy gonna rock with you. Um. Y'all stay positive out there, stay warm out there, because the weather man said it was supposed to be warming it up, but I be dang on it. Man, it's still cold out here. Jack Frost ain't left yet. Dang, boy. But y'all stay good out there, man. Have a good day, and I'm out.